Welcome to the Von Vodcast. My name is Jason Von Berg. We're sitting here at the beautiful Moyo restaurant in Johannesburg with David Alder. How are you doing today, David? Good, Jason. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So welcome back to South Africa, first of all. Thank you very much. Good to be back. Oh, it's awesome. And uh, beautiful, hot Johannesburg weather and the uh, place I used to come about 10 years ago with my dog. So it's bringing back some good memories. Uh, so you are opening for Lionel Richie on East South Africa too. How's that been so far? You get to Cape Town. Yeah, I, I, look, the, the shows are amazing. Uh, we did 21,000 people in Durban last night, and uh, it was a riot. It was great. I mean, it's a huge stage, big sound. Lionel's awesome. Uh, I get a chance to, uh, you know, connect with my fans and, 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 and people here in, in South Africa. I'm just having a blast. It's, it's amazing. Performing in Johannesburg tomorrow night and on Friday. Yeah. Um, what can people expect when you are on stage? Well, um, what I'm doing is I'm doing sort of like a. It's kind of like an unplugged acoustic set. However, I have a bass player and I have a guitar player with me. So I'll be bringing uh, familiar songs to the public, songs which they've heard on radio, and perhaps they don't know who the artist is uh, for all these years. Uh, so the, those dots will be connected. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, just a lot of energy and a lot of uh, a lot of eagerness. And now tell me about your album. I mean, what I find quite nice to see is that the new album is called The Times, and yeah. you're being interviewed by The Times. There we go. It's brilliant. Eh? It works out perfectly. Pre-planned. <laughs> yeah. So tell me a little bit more about the album then. Well, The Times. Um, I named it The Times because most, almost every song on the reference on, on this on the album has a reference to time. Um, you know, and that. Know, for example, that we have so much time, and what we're going to do with the time. You know, if, if we were to die right now, would we be satisfied? And every song has, has some sort of reference to time, so hence the times. Um, the times is kind of like an autobiography for me. It's, um, I've done six uh, solo albums, but this is the one which we, where I bear my soul on. And uh, uh, it took a long time to get this record out, but. Um, it's my most personal and uh, it's the one I'm most proud of. Yeah. What, what sort of things have um, happened in the career that have um, contributed to the album in your career or in your personal capacity? Just, you know, I think it's just a case of, of maturity. It's, it's a case of getting to a certain part in your life where, where, you can, where you can pen down your experiences and your thoughts. I mean, on some of the songs I, I make reference to, I mean, I work in Beverly Hills, so I have a song called What a Fine Day, which is about Beverly Hills and about the, those that have so much and down the road they rummaging through the trash. I have another song on the record called Someone's Kissing, which is about my best friend in South Africa, who called his wife Chile. I have another song on the record called Judgment Day, which is about when I was held hostage in Johannesburg. Uh, and so that's what I mean by being per... There's song, songs which are really about David Aldo and my experiences. I'm sort of bearing my soul on this record. And I'm sort of slightly vulnerable as well. And now let's talk about um, some of the people that you've worked with in, in your, your time in the States. The list is unbelievable. Oprah Winfrey, Donald Trump, Jennifer Aniston, yeah. Dustin Hoffman. Yeah. been incredible. Dustin, uh, Dustin Hoffman actually sponsored my uh, sponsored me on the green card. Oh States, really? So. Okay. He's a good friend of mine. I've known Dustin for many years. I do uh, a lot of private events for all these uh, stars. I'm kind of like the... Uh, uh, well, I've been referred to as like the mayor of Beverly Hills in terms of that I know all those uh, stars and I do, I'm always called upon for private events for them. Um, that's just me being in their face all these years and um, obviously I'm reliable, I'm professional and you know, I'm good at what I do. And uh, yeah, it's so, fun. So who's been one of the, the best people to, to work with besides Dustin? Um, you see, I've done Russell Crowe, I did Russell Crowe's Cinderella Man, I did his... Uh, his uh, movie after party. Um, Tom Cruise is cool. Tom Cruise, I did Elton John the other day with um, Beckham's and the Beckham's kids because Elton John is their uh, grand uh, godfather. Um, and this goes on. I think it's not, it's not who I've done, it's who I haven't done. And now what else are you planning to do in South Africa while you're here? I'm just doing two of my own shows, one, one tonight at Tans Cafe in Bryanston, and I do Saturday night at uh, Piado and Float in Cedar Square. Uh, the two Lionel shows, and then I head out again, so back to Los Angeles. Sure. Last stars of the rich and famous. I have an event for Donald Trump on Wednesday in California. 
she's awesome. Yeah, so I think I'll come and visit you in LA one day if you'll host me. You'll have to. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, you'll have a lot of fun. Awesome. Okay, Dave, we're going to wrap it up there, but it's been awesome chatting to you. Enjoy your stay in South Africa and we'll catch up. Hi, my name is David Aldo. Catch me in South Africa on the Lionel Richie Tour. And you're watching the Von Broadcast.